Hey guys, Rick and Duke, welcome to another episode of Warhog Words of Wisdom. I know what you guys are thinking. If you're watching, hey, who's this Duke guy if you're new to the show? Uh, so Duco is my retired work dog. We originally started this thing, so just want to keep his memory going. Um, and you know what? I threw it back and forth. Hey, what am I going to do? Am I going to use Duke, not use Duke? You know what? Duke started it. Duke's going to ride this thing all the way uh, to the end. So if you want to know more about Duco, warhog.com. Uh, the about button in honor of Duco will lay out all that stuff on him. So he started it. We're going to finish it. Uh, but that's just kind of where the whole words of wisdom started from. Anyway, uh, just want to thank you guys for giving me your most precious commodity, your time to tune in and listen to what I've got to say. If you guys aren't tracking, patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast. Um, that's going to cover everything on the range. Appreciate all your support, early access, Zoom calls, training tips, uh, vlogs. We got it all going, so definitely go check that out. And then understand this, guys. So Warhog Words of Wisdom is an offshoot or satellite or piece of On the Range podcast. So that is the overall arching theme, just adding a little more content in there. So really, guys, what I want to jump right into is talk about home gyms. Why do I want to talk about home gyms? Because for me, you know, kind of during this crazy time we live in, people are always trying to figure out how to make the best use of their time. And for me, the home gym was a no brainer early on when I first retired. So obviously when I was in the military, you know, you've got gyms all right there. So it was easy access to get to. So now it was just a matter of when I retire, I'm sitting there going, man, I'm wasting time commuting back and forth. Why not just put the gym there? And now, I'm, you know, I can sit there and go, hey, I got 33 minutes, bam, knock out a quick workout and everything's staying right here local. So what I would tell you guys is just think about this. And I got to everyone's get their own unique situations. Hey, what their space is, what they've got. Uh, but here's the thing. You don't need a whole bunch. You can do more with less when you think about this. So I did not wind up spending a whole bunch of money in my gym. And one of these days, I'm going to go an actual walkthrough and kind of show you guys what I all have. But um, for the most part, you know, here's the thing, if you've got nothing else, so let's say, you know, you live in an apartment space is tight, you know, you can't really put a whole bunch of weights and things like that in there, man, you get yourself a brute force sandbag and trust me, that thing can absolutely, absolutely be a soul crusher. Uh, so many different exercises you can do. We've got a lot of stuff as far as on YouTube, different exercises, but really at the end of the day, it's you looking at, um, your location, what you have, your lifestyle, and that thing will be an absolute moneymaker for you. So think about this, right? Apartment dweller, maybe you live up on the third floor. You slap that thing on your back and go up and down them stairs. Trust me, you'll feel it and a whole bunch of stuff you can do. And typically, uh, if you're there, you've got grassy areas or there's things you can do to work out with that bag outside as well. So that's kind of our one staple. And the reason I bring up brute force is because that's the same bags we use during our law enforcement training to induce physical duress with the officers. And again, you guys can see some of those videos there. I mean, numerous different things you can do, um, add that duress or get that workout in. You know, so for me, I wound up, you know, brute force was there, um, ended up finding a rack um, on one of the local let go or, you know, marketplace, whatever it was. So I was able to get that pretty much on the cheap. Um, same thing with bumper weight. So understand this was all pre china virus craziness. So trust me, people would, you know, you give it a couple months after the first year and everyone's new year's resolution for wanting to get fit goes away. And trust me, they're looking just to clean out space. And that's really how I capitalized on getting a lot of that stuff on the cheap. Um, but you got to think, man, when the China virus hit and all the gyms were shutting down, man, gym equipment went through the roof and I'm sitting there kind of chuckling going, well, I got everything I need. So there wasn't a whole bunch of stress there, but I would say it's one of those that kind of where things are evening out, you know, um, if you've got a garage or you've got extra space, man, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of the rack. You know, you can do your, your pull-ups on there, uh, place to actually put your bar, you know, so I ended up got the rack, got a barbell, got some bumper weights. Um, you know, had some steel metal ones in there as well that I can use if I want to. Uh, a TRX system, because again, it gives you some flexibility in there. And then, oh, by the way, I got to do a big 
shout out to Pat Mack and his bands. Um, yeah, got a couple sets of those. So again, uh, you want to figure out how to use resistance bands to the max capacity. Check out what Pat Mack's doing. Definitely cutting edge when it comes to that stuff. And I got it. Most people will chuckle and yeah, my Monday videos, I slap in a funny of usually some bands busting, but they're not that get you some bands. So uh, just some food for thought on that one. Uh, you know, kettlebells, got a brute force bag. You know, obviously we got the the athlete bag with the handles and we just got kind of the bare bones, small 50 pound bag um, to chuck around. You know, so it's trying to sit there and go, I don't need a whole bunch. Um, I can get a soul crushing workout in, you know, as far as my cardio stuff. Yeah, I mean, I'll run on occasion, but man, the rower, um, I do have a, a concept two rower. I love that thing. But again, I've got the space for it and it does fold up kind of nice when you're not using it. And the beauty is, you know, at least for me and, and kind of how I have my home gym set up. Yes, it's out in my garage, but I do have my <clears throat> gun power electronic target. Excuse me. <clears throat> if you guys are just new to the show, this is raw, unedited. We'll just run it the way it is. But um, anyway, the, um, you know, the gun power targets out there. So, you know, I've got a Bob punching um punching bag or punching guy so you do some realistic training so if i wanted to i could incorporate my airsoft training into my strikes um so it's just a whole plethora that you can get a buttload of training in in a very confined space and oh by the way i can do it whenever i want so if i get up at three in the morning i'm feeling froggy you know go knock out a workout uh if it's 10 o'clock at night i want to get a workout in great i'm typically just from kind of my routines, how it was at work, you know, I'm that uh, lunchtime, early afternoon type guy. Uh, that's just what works for me, but it doesn't mean, you know, you can't do something else for you. Um, I even got, you know, a, a crazy ammo can, um, just a regular 50 cal ammo can filled with dirt. Why? Just because it changes the variables up. So uh, water cans, you know, we play with that, you know, did a whole kind of quick little YouTube video on using water cans. So I mean, let your imagination be your guide when it comes to this stuff and don't get stagnant in what you're doing. To me, it's, you know, you can work your classic, you know, what's it back and buys and chest and tries. And that's cool. Or just look at doing some functional fitness. Um, those of you guys have a pickup truck, man, that pickup truck will crush your soul as well. Cause you can pop that tailgate and up and down or jump in the back of the bed or, all kinds of stuff you can do Russian twists off the back with your, you know, brute force contraption. So uh, you'll see as a common statement, you know, brute force. I mean, I love their stuff. I love their products. I beat them up and man, they hold up absolutely fantastic. So whether it's the uh, athlete bag that even got one of the kettlebells um, and then kind of the bare bones round, you know, ball there. So again, super easy. You get the bag, fill it up with sand. All right, let's say you got to travel, dump the sand out, get to point X you're going, refill it back up. And it's just a portable piece of fitness kit that you can travel with you. That's, you know, super easy. Same thing if you want, like with the Pat Max bands, you know, things take up zero space. So slap them in there and, and get your workout in. So I would just say, guys, you know, again, you've got to add the workout's got to be your staple. Why? Well, obviously fitness is one that will give you longevity. Um, two, it's actually proven, and I'm here to tell you that fitness was a huge part to my TBI recovery. Not that I was, I wasn't doing it before, but just looking at adding, adding some elements of balance, some mind exercise. You know, you can still incorporate all that stuff into your workout. Um, and then, oh by the way, you know, when I lost Duke, that was my one staple. That was my, hey, let me go clear my mind and go get a workout in, and just make yourself feel better. So. Again, it should be, you know, if you're out there listening, uh, hopefully it's it's part of your staple, right? And heck, man, if all you got is a set of tennis shoes, dude, that's something. Get out there and put some miles on the road. Um, for the guys out there listening and, you know, kind of had the, the one gentleman hit me up. Uh, hey, man, how do I get a winner? How do I make myself better? Man, fitness, to me, fitness is your staple, right? So think about it. If all you can do is run a mile today but I'm running a mile and a half next week. Or if I do a 10 minute mile, now I'm 
the next week or whatever your improvement is in. Those are tangibles, man. Those are takeaways. Those are, if you want to say morale boosters, feel good, whatever word you want to use, it doesn't matter. But you got to sit there and go, I'm pushing my body to do something I necessarily may or may not want to. Um, just, man, get out there and do it. And trust me, you'll feel better. Uh, you'll look better. Your body will perform better, barring you don't have any structural damage uh, like some of us do. Um, but I would I would definitely look at, you know, incorporating that into your system. And again, it doesn't have to be a whole bunch of money spent. And there's plenty of stuff out there. And, and I haven't looked at fitness um, fitness items since, you know, kind of started early on with the pandemic, just crazy prices going on. And I haven't looked past to really go, hey, are prices leveling out or whatever? But I would say just grab a little bit you know, each day and whatever fits your lifestyle, stick it in there. Do you need a Bob? Nah, maybe you don't. I personally do because I want to work on my striking as well. Cause that's part, you know, I talk about this whole kind of self-defense concept. You know, it's not always going to go straight to your firearm. You need to have, be skilled in your hands. And if you don't have anything to practice on, are you actually kind of getting yourself better or getting yourself skilled? Uh, it works great. Cause like I said, I can smack Bob, you know, use my airsoft gun power target all right there uh, in the garage. So it's kind of like a one-stop training shop. If you're fortunate enough, like I said, you know, live in a house and got that extra garage space. Great. I got it. Mama might sit there and go, Hey, we're parking the cars in there. Okay, cool. Can I've, I've still seen plenty of people get their cars in and still have some type of home gym. So just try to accommodate what's going to fit you best. Uh, you know, if you live in an apartment or something like that, Hey man, trust me, you can still make some things work. And I would just tell you guys, you know, get out there, get some training in, get yourself feeling better, add to your longevity. Uh, trust me, if you got kids, they're going to love it. And oh, by the way, speaking of kids, if you've got them, incorporate them in there. Um, and I would be amiss if I didn't add this last portion. If you are a dog owner, uh, trust me, you can incorporate your dogs into your workout stuff just as well. You know, Duke used to love to go out there and run. Uh, I got it, you know. There were days that I would sit there and keep him in check, and there were days where, because I kind of knew what his thresholds were, he'd get out the gate and just haul the mail. I was like, cool, dude, let's go haul the mail. About that half a mile, you know, mile point where he gassed himself. It's like, oh, no, dude, you brought this misery on you, so we're going to keep on rolling. So I would just say, you know, incorporate your pets in there, get their longevity. Um, i tell you this, I'd do, I'd do anything just to get one more run with Duke, you know, something – I really missed um, just getting out there and, and working with him. So incorporate your pets in there, uh, incorporate your kids, get your spouse, you know, whatever the case may be, make it a family type of deal and then make it a staple in your life. So, you know, if you're going to sit there and go, what are my goals for the day? I would hope that you jot down workouts, one of them. And Oh, by the way, if you've got the home gym, I got it. You got to get home. Uh, whether it's make dinner, get the kids to off to practice, do whatever, you know, the gym's still there. So you can still sneak in, whether it's, you know, depending on your lifestyle, early in the morning, later in the evening. I do, I don't care if it's 15, 20, 30 minutes, something, get something in there uh, to add longevity to your system. And trust me, you will be better off for it. So it's kind of the ending, you know, kind of my closing statement for the Warhog Wars of Wisdom. Um, home gym, I'm not going to sit there and tell you, Hey, what workout to do? I would say be functional, make sure what you're doing kind of fits, uh, your lifestyle and, and what will make you better. If you're a mill Ellie guy, 100%, you know, get that functional stuff in there. And, uh, that way, you know, if you're ever in that situation, you've got to defend yourself, defend your family, you know, 100% you can. So, um, don't forget guys, you know, if you're listening to this, do me a favor. You guys have done exceptionally well uh, supporting the show. And, and trust me, I can't thank you enough. Top 3%. And that wouldn't be possible without you guys. You know, pass the info on to your friends. Please leave us a rating review. Uh, I don't care if it's just a thumbs up emoji. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on. Whether it's uh, YouTube, your podcast platform, however you're listening to this, you know, just help us out that way. And then, oh, by the way, closing part is uh, patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast, definitely way you can support three different levels in there of support you can do uh, all kinds of lays it out. And then don't forget, um, check out those companies that that help us. So 
warhog.com on there. Um, industry partners, you'll see coupon codes for all the different partners that support us, man. Go check out those great companies and, you know, get out there, guys. Get your workout in. Appreciate all your support and uh, just get out there and crush the day. You guys take care. Warhog out.